All right, so I got a 2004 Subaru Impreza wagon with the EJ20, and I had an issue, which I'll explain right now, for about a week that I was trying to figure out, and I went through a whole bunch of stuff to, s to see if I could fix it, and uh, I finally fixed it, so I just want to make this video to possibly help out those people that are having the same issue or you know so my problem was that uh with this car was that uh every time I would turn the the key over to the on position uh the fuel pump wouldn't turn on and uh it would crank, but the fuel pump wouldn't turn on. So as soon as I would go back, and even when I would take the key out, the fuel pump would turn off and on. And some of the cluster lights, like the oil pressure sensor light, would uh, turn on and off really quickly. So I was just like, what the hell is going on? Um, so first I went through all the fuses back here and I would pull them off and I would also pull off the relays while the fuel pump and the cluster were turning off and on really quickly and nothing changed. I also went to the over here to uh, pull all of these off and on or pull all of these uh, fuses and relays out at the same uh, and uh, nothing would change I would I uh, check my grounds and uh, they were fine so next was so the next thing I did was I changed my fuel pump because it was going bad anyways and the problem continued so then I located the fuel pump relay which is that green one back there and uh, disconnected it and the fuel pump obviously turned off like completely but then I checked the cluster and some of the lights were still turning off and on really quickly so I knew that wasn't the problem I went over to this brown one which is the start or the ignition relay some call it the main relay disconnected that and it turned everything off so I was like well maybe this is going bad I went to the junkyard got one for three bucks put it on same thing continued so so when, so then uh, I, I did read some forums that said that you know a couple people fixed that problem that had this issue fixed that problem by uh, replacing their ECU some people also fix that problem because uh, this green test connector was uh, connected which is supposed to be disconnected this is a test connector to your ECU um, so this is supposed to be disconnected it was disconnected so I knew that wasn't the problem so after reading the forums, I was pretty sure that uh, it was a bad ECU. And quite a few weeks back, I did replace my injectors. So I was just messing around with the engine harness. And uh, obviously there's a bunch of stuff back here until I realized that this ground wasn't connected. It was somewhere down here and you couldn't even see it. 
so I connected that back and there's also a ground back here which was connected and after I connected this one is when it fixed my problem so whoever might be having this issue just check your grounds really quick before you buy anything um, save you some cash save you some headache and uh, hopefully this video helped you guys out hit a like if it, if it, if it did and uh, thank you